Hey guys, I'm Charlie, a Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. And it's been a year since I have done a live update on my channel. So I thought it was finally time to do one again. Since it's been a year, a lot has changed in my life. And I will link the last live update down below if you haven't seen it yet, because I'm going to be talking about some stuff I mentioned in there. The first thing I want to talk about, and what I also talked about in my last live update, was that I was going to university. And I also explained my whole high school, college, university experience in the other video. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I really recommend you watching that video because I explained everything you need to know over there. But I started university in September. I was really looking forward to this ever since last year, September, October. It finally came. University was finally here. And I started at the beginning of September, end of August. And honestly, it started out really hard for me. It was a lot of work and I did not expect it to be as much work as it is currently still even because my college experience was still kind of easy in comparison to university now. It's so much more work. We have to work a lot faster. We have to read a lot more and have to do a lot more assignments for one week than I ever had to do in college. And it's not necessarily harder, it's just a lot, like a lot more than I ever had to do. So that's kind of what I'm struggling with, it's currently the end of October, obviously. I got kind of used to it, I have an, I found a nice rhythm, I get all of my work done, I'm not behind, I'm on top of it all and it feels really really good. I have had my first exams at the beginning and middle of October and those went really well. I think I've passed all of them, but I don't have all of my grades back yet. I only have my Dutch language test grade back and I passed that one, so I'm feeling really good about that. But I have a good feeling about all of my exams, so that is good. I didn't have an exam for all of my subjects so far. Most of the exams are going to be taking place during the month of December like the first, second and third week of December. Those are all of my exams that I'm going to be rounding up those subjects and in February I start my second semester and then I'm getting new subjects. I'm obviously kind of worried about December because I will have to study eight weeks of assignments and course lectures and literature and it's going to be a lot but I, I'm confident I think I can do it I've managed to do well so far so I am very confident in that then I've talked enough about university I want to talk about something else that I haven't talked about before and if you've been watching my videos you already know but I've got myself a boyfriend I want to explain some stuff. We made a discussion of Illuminate and Gemini. I turned my boyfriend into a reader. So I will link that down below if you're interested in that and seeing him like on screen, seeing what he looks like. But we met back in March, right before my birthday, actually. My birthday is on the 27th of March. We met through our mutual friends, I guess. We went out on a night for drinks and then I met him and we immediately connected, really liked each other. And from that point on, we really started texting each other and seeing each other a lot. Our first date was to the then new Beauty and the Beast film with Emma Watson. It was really good and since then we have been inseparable really. We've been hanging out a lot, we've been seeing each other a lot. We even went on vacation back at the beginning of August and it was really good. I enjoyed myself a lot. We are actually going to have a really fun time in December, which I want to talk to you about as well. At the end of August, beginning of September, my boyfriend and I talked about going on a trip during New Year's. So we decided we wanted to spend New Year's in Paris. And um, we did that. We booked a trip to Paris for five days, four nights. Um, during New Year's and I've never been in another country during New Year's and I'm very excited about it because I've been wanting to go to Paris for such a long time now and I'm finally going with the person I love and I love all of the pretty little lights when it's dark outside and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, we are going to Paris and I'm going to vlog my experience in Paris. So I'm going to take you along with me and my boyfriend during our trip to Paris so you can see what we are up to there and what we are doing over there and I'm very excited about talking you through my experience and sharing this trip with you, my second trip with my boyfriend. I haven't vlogged in a long time and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to just vlog because my boyfriend obviously knows about my YouTube channel, he's comfortable with being filmed and since I'm only there with him it's very easy to just vlog all the time, talk to the camera because he is comfortable and my family for example really isn't so it's very hard to film around them so this is going to be a perfect opportunity because I've never been on holiday 
day just myself without my family or parents or anything but with my boyfriend so that is going to be really exciting also going to spend Christmas a day with his family which is also very cool we're going to spend Christmas uh, Christmas evening with my family having a dinner and then the second day of Christmas like Boxing Day we are going to has or you can eat sushi, my favorite sushi place. So it's going to be so exciting and I am so happy right now in life, honestly. Everything is going really well and I'm reading less than I've ever did before, but I'm actually feeling good about it because I have more, I have a boyfriend, I'm feeling good, my mental health is in the right place and I'm still very happy with who I am today, how my life is going, what I'm experiencing, the opportunities I'm having and just being able to go to a place like Paris for New Year's, that is absolutely incredible to me and I honestly wouldn't have said I am in this place two years ago. Like I would have not expected to have a boyfriend, go to Paris with him on my own, being 19, having a place all to myself and buying groceries and just being independent, living on my own, doing my own stuff, and I'm feeling really good. So if you were, you were wondering, Charlie, how are you actually feeling? I am absolutely perfect. Thank you. Something else I want to talk about is in November, which I'm also super excited about. Like, I live in the Netherlands, obviously, and we have an event, like, very close by where I live. It's called Glow, and it's kind of a light festival, and like I just said about Paris, it's I love lights. I love these little lamps and just Christmas trees full of light and it's all so exciting and we are going to this light festival. There's also a stadium where there's going to be a light show and we bought tickets to that. It's half an hour and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Like we're going to do so many cool things. Another thing I just thought of in February, The Killers, one of my favorite bands ever, is coming to the Netherlands, Ziggo Dome, Amsterdam. And I am going there with my boyfriend. We have perfect seats, we can see them so good, and I cannot wait to maybe finally hear Mr. Brightside live because that is my favorite song ever, ever, ever. And I am so excited about this. Like, I'm doing so much fun stuff with my boyfriend. He's really up for anything, and it's great. I honestly think I found my soulmate. So I think I've talked to you about everything. I got really enthusiastic and energetic and pumped up throughout this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video because it made me excited. I hope it made you excited to go on this journey with me too. So yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know down below what's been going on in your life. I would absolutely love to know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.